Hello everyone and welcome to this tutorial for the Cyberpunk Apartment. So first I would like to show you what's in the folder in your inventory window, the Cyberpunk Apartment folder. Uh, in it you have two resers, a furniture folder that comes separately with all the furnitures in it, the user manual of course, the landmark to my Cyberpunk City and Second Life, which is the largest, longest running Cyberpunk City. And the res map. So first you want to res the res map. This is in case you are planning to buy land in order to res the Cyberpunk apartment or just to see on your own land where things would go. So you can see the red area here is the apartment. The orange area is the rooftops boundaries, which is a larger option for the larger environments. The pink one is the terrace boundaries. I'm sorry for the typo. I wrote it in a French way. I will correct that. And then the skybox boundaries, which is the green area, which is the smallest option. So you can raise all that from within the cyberpunk apartment once you raised it. To res the cyberpunk apartment, open your inventory window and in the cyberpunk apartment folder either choose cyberpunk apartment reser which is the fully furnished version or the unfurnished version. Drag and drop it next to you and then go away from it if you don't want your avatar to be pushed around by the physics of the bigger objects that are going to get rest. Click on the reser and then hit this button, res. Leave it some time to res. Okay, now I have that little glitch happening. Sometimes it happens, sometimes not. As you can see, the final structure isn't pressed properly, so de res and heating res again fixes the issue. There. So this reser reses the apartment only, not the extra environment coming with it. As you can see, you can see from below the apartment. Uh, in the package uh, comes a wind light that I find uh, very um, relaxing. So it's not this wind light, but maybe I will add this one. It's another one. It makes the textures appear very much darker but everything is the same in fact. So for this tutorial I'm going to keep this wind light because I think it's much more relaxing for this environment. Much more cyberpunk in fact. Okay so with that pressure once you are fine with the position of your building you can hit save on the menu. OK, now you can delete the razor. So now I'm going to show you the different razors in order to finish to res the texture. So in the lounge area here, you have the red button. Click on it, it brings options. Now I'm going to set the camera outside to show you. As you can see, when you raise the cyberpunk apartment, it first raises a structure like that, and it doesn't need, like if you look from this angle, you will see from below. Now you are going to raise a simple skybox. I recommend you. In fact, it's not a recommendation. You will have to sit 
on an object or to fly away when raising the structures like that. Otherwise, this will push your avatar around because of the physics. So this raises a small landing pad with a few railings here. Okay. Now you can raise a bigger environment, which is a big terrace. It's a first emulation of a rooftop, this one. Okay. And then you have the third option, which is divided into two smaller options. You can res the rooftops or the rooftops with the materials in order to save uh, texture memory. You can res the rooftops alone. So these structures aren't textured uh, with materials, except the main one in the middle and the apartment. This can help you save texture memory. If your GPU can handle more, then I recommend that you just raise the rooftop with the materials. Which is this one. Play around with the wind lights. It's all equipped with materials. I spent 500 hours hand drawing each texture of uh, this project. So I can guarantee you that playing around with wind lights and lights uh, brings the best out of the environment. Here I set the wind light that comes with the environment that I created especially for. Uh, I find it extremely relaxing. So now I'm going to show you the other razors of the environment small extra razors like one in the kitchen which is this one you can see the green sun it's a food dispenser on it you have that screen click on it brings different options you can bring like different uh, this like this is the food dispenser giving you a tray that has space food in it or a pizza here that you can uh, open or all food. All food brings a dystopian milk like that, a tray, the pizza and also glasses of wine bread and my space food here. Okay, now this is for the kitchen. I'm going to show you the razor that raises the bed. So in the bedroom there is that red button here. Click on it. Choose an option. And then you can see this raises a bed. The bed, in fact, which is everything is mud. So you can have that style of cover that goes on the bench or you can have uh, the bench uncovered and this falls on the side or no sheets. And every time you raise an object the, the, the razor remembers its last position. So you can play around with the color of the sheets as you can see you know you can set it to any color you want. So this is the razor of the bedroom and now onto the razor of the bathroom which is this small red button here. And it raises the water in the bath or the shower water or all waters. So I'm going to show you all the waters. everything has been sound designed and the shower so you can raise these props from within the bath or the shower when you sit on it it's included in the sitter but every time you will stand up uh, it will remove the water so if you want to have these hanging out like that you just use this razor here okay
The air conditioning systems are sound designed in the lounge as well as in the kitchen and a little bit in the bathroom. So if you don't like that sound, just click on the main structure here anywhere and you see you can set the sound to zero up to 100. Don't set the length of the sound. You can do the same on this object here. Again, never use this. And in the bathroom, it's for the water of the bath. This is a very, very, very small sound. Located in there. You can set it to zero or a hundred. To configure the doors, uh, you can configure every door in the apartment from all the shutters, all the windows and all the doors. So I'm going to show you with the entrance door for instance. Click on it, then click again on it. Always have it closed, in the closed position before starting this. And click its name in local chat. All the names of all the doors are listed in the user manual. Okay, so log obvious, you can add owners or no, this this logs only, okay, lists, ads, owners, bands, people, a mod is auto or uh, not auto, like you have to click on it, uh, reset scripts, in case the door is irresponsive, reset scripts. But then only do this when the door is in closed position. Okay, reverse. Don't use this. This is a mesh build. It won't work. Or you will have to uh, reset a new apartment unless you really know what you're doing. Okay, close menu. Closes the menu and won't, won't, won't save any changes you made. Okay, open close. Obviously, all the other buttons are unnecessary. All right, I like to set auto open on this door especially. You see it opens automatically when I approach. So inside every doors or every door, you have full instructions and then you have a setup configuration not card. Uh, the auto mod sensor range. This is the door that will open when my avatar enters a perimeter of about two meters around the door. Okay. Now I'm going to show you how to use the lights, like this one. You have this one, or you have neons, or sailing lamps, uh, lamps on the walls, like in the bedroom. So every time you click on a lamp, it doesn't come set like that, it comes with a white light, normal. So when you hold the left button of the mouse pressed for over two seconds on a lamp, it brings a button, then you can set on or off, or you can just touch it on off, right? And then you can set the glow, you can set the intensity, the radius, fall off, the color, anything. This works with all the lamps, all the lights, sorry, in the environment. the rotating fans. This is an issue that isn't linked 
to this building in particular. This is grid wide and I was just speaking to scriptures this morning to find if someone is up to the challenge literally of fixing the issue because it has been almost 10 years that I use fans in my structures and I always had that little glitch of a problem. So sometimes when we raise a structure, um, the fans won't be rotating in the right way. In order to correct that, just select a fan, go to build script, reset script. Okay, and this will place the fans back into the right position, rotating accordingly.